Hi guys, this is Elton again. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, um, previously I'm pretty sure you guys saw videos of me testing out a pair of my LED projectors in uh, going through very dark roads and uh, most of my drive videos, the headlights are significantly bright. They are noticeably bright and I had a handful of inquiries on uh, what am I using and uh, how much do they cost and whatnot. So, in this video, what I'm gonna be talking about is actually, yes, like um, you guys were asking, what am I using, uh, and of course, how do I use it, and of course, the differences between uh, HID halogens, by LED projectors, do they come only in low beam, high beam, and whatnot. So, we are actually going into a basement of a very dark place. Of course, with um, security, with proper security, and uh, it's kind of dangerous at night. And um, I'm gonna be facing a wall just to show you guys what this headlight, what this projector headlights can actually do. So we'll be heading down the basement shortly, and um, you'll be able to see the projector beam, or its cut-off lines, how it reflects, how it reflects off the wall, and whatnot. So down now okay i'll be placing the camera outside the car with the microphone in the car with me set in the car and uh, on the operations of the headlights okay here we are yeah it's not it's not it's not entirely dark but um, let's just find a dark spot okay i see one on the left Okay, welcome back guys. As per what I mentioned in the previous video before the cut-off, um, I'm currently in a very dark basement, in a pretty dark basement in Setia Alam in Malaysia. And uh, what I'm going to be showing you is that I'm going to be switching on the headlights that I have on the car. These are by LEDs and um, they do flick on instantly compared to, compared to halogens and HIDs. So HIDs, they do take time to warm up. You can't have it in high beam. If you want to flash onto oncoming traffic, you want to warn people. Or halogens, they are just they just don't make the cut. They're not that bright. So lights on. Here we go. Switch on. See, it's instant. So off, on, off, on, off, on. So as you can see, the cutoff line is very obvious, and this is very very important in terms of not having to give out a very bright bright glare towards oncoming cars or perhaps the car in front of you you don't want to blind them through the rear view or the side mirror so these cut off lines are very very obvious okay um i'm driving a right hand drive vehicle in malaysia we drive on the left side of the road so you can actually see the little notch you can see an, a slight angle on both sides of the projectors um, having allowing you to actually illuminate a little bit higher on the left side if you have signboards on the left side of the road and whatnot at night and um, as for high beams these are by LEDs as per mentioned earlier so there is a movable reflector or a glare shield in the projector which allows you to actually use both high and low beams on a single projector so i'm gonna be flicking on my high beams okay this is high beam yeah there's a tint of yellow there as um, i have the i still have my 
high beam halogens in the headlights so low beam high low high low high low so you can actually see that it's pretty much instant so if you want to be giving people the so-called machine gun or if someone is tailgating in front of you so just give give them a slight warning one two three or well for some cases warning as in repeated flashes it's gonna be like there you go see low beam high beam low beam high beam low beam okay if you want to switch it off um, to warn oncoming traffic even in the daytime it's just at the flick of a switch of again this isn't a pair of this isn't hid so you, there is no warm up time no warm up time so just flick on off on off on off okay so i'm going to be showing you what's on the headlight itself be right back okay i'm out of the car now so as you can see right here what i have here yeah sorry the headlights are a little bit dirty and um projectors right here so i'm gonna uh, reset this camera again to a proper angle and switch on the headlights just so you can actually look at the high beam and low beams at the same uh, having me flick the switch on and off including my oem high beam halogens which is right here so once again be right back okay we are facing the headlights now so i'm not sure how it's gonna turn out in the camera so here we go dim light low beam high beam low beam dim light off so we are gonna be placing the camera a little bit sideways oops dim light low beam high beam so and we're gonna switch it off so what i'm gonna do now is that i'm gonna be heading to an open area with um quite open land and just see how how far we can actually shine into the darkness so be right back hi guys okay so as we are heading to the dark open area that i mentioned earlier i believe that i should explain a little bit more on the kind of headlights we have in the market so we have number one halogens number two hids yes these were pretty efficient and pretty famous back in the days even as um, as far back as 10 years ago and um, we have LEDs and of course the newer cars like the likes of BMW they have laser headlamps yeah those are kind of cool so the reason why I have a set of buy LEDs in a car is that um, the reflectors that were sitting at the back of the projectors on my headlamps were actually oxidized so changing a new pair of bulbs did not at all help with the situation it did not get any brighter i noticed i was really really happy when the car was brand new when the lights were super bright and i just couldn't figure out why was it so why did it get so dim after after some time so yeah the shop told me your reflectors are oxidized give a set of buy LED projectors and try and um, I never look back after that so yeah these are the few these are the few available models these are the few available types in the market low yellow no cut off ugly halogens which are still available in low spec cars HIDs in cars as maybe 10 years and below 15 years and below i don't know when they i don't know when they were being 
put in new cars. Uh, so LEDs and laser headlamps are actually supplied with most new cars nowadays. Okay, so back to what you see in the camera here. Um, even with very dark tints, even with um, bright LED lamp posts, you can actually notice that it's still illuminating bright. So lights off, lights on. See the difference? High beam, low beam. Again, bright, lights off, lights on. So we head to the end of the road and um, let's just shoot upwards. I'm gonna be flicking on my high beams. Okay, you'll see a signboard just ahead. Okay, so one, two, three, high beams. Yeah, these are pretty bright. Okay, the dark ass roads are just ahead. Just give me a moment. I'll be driving through. There is gonna be a place to stop the car and I'll be continuing the video again. I'm gonna be breaking up the video soon. So, dark roads, lights off, lights on, high beam, yep, bright as hell, low beam. So, everything is very clear to me. There is like a 2 300 meter through beam. You can actually see whatever that's coming ahead, including a signboard, high beams. Yeah, it's a little bit glaring. I get quite annoyed easily. So this is the dark road. Just straight ahead. You can't see anything ahead. Just flick on your high beams. Yep, it's very helpful. Your speed bump. No beams. So just give me a moment. Be right back. I'm gonna have to be setting up the camera outside the car again. Be right back. Okay guys, so here we are again, um, the roads are completely dark and um, I have my hazards switched on just so in case, uh, cops, in case of any cops passing by, they'll know that I'm here if they want to ask me any questions, I'm doing nothing illegal. So let me just start the engine and switch on the headlights for you guys to see. So engine on, hazards off dim light nothing to see yep it's a little bit uh, illuminated on the camera which is outside the car so as soon as I switch on my low beams in three two one on okay and um, I'm gonna be switching on my high beams in three two one high beams so there you go that's all so switch off um, straight high beams and I'm gonna be flickering yep there we go so that's all I'm gonna be concluding this um, video I hope that um, I clarified to you guys on what kind of headlights i'm actually using these are by leds you can actually get them online i'm not sure how much they'll cost in your country wherever you're watching this video from but um if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below or drop me a message if you're watching this from facebook once again thank you for watching if you like this video do hit the subscribe button on the top left of this window and there'll be much more to come goodbye